the key. You have to put your reputation in God's hands. Let Him defend you. Let Him be your vindicator. The scripture never tells us to guard our reputation. It says guard your heart. If you're trying to guard your reputation, you're going to be worn out. That's not your job. Leave your reputation in God's hands. He knows how to change people's minds. He knows how to silence negative voices. He knows how to cause you to be seen in the right light. To know and to remind yourself that God is omniscient and that God has a plan and he has a schedule and he has a sequence and he has a structure. An ego drives, you know, you to be successful, me to be successful. Ego is what's driving you. The problem is when you let ego go too far. If you're going to speak effectively, you have to know way more than you're talking about. You're exhausted, you're tired, but you're getting close to the finish line. You start running faster, not slower. <laughs> That's a right? good point. Um, uh, and so uh, it's, it's, it's keeping people included to know what the metrics mean and, um, and which ones are trending and which ones are absolute. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with the drive to succeed as long as there's a context to, within which, uh, within which the, that drive exists. There's something to the idea or act of stepping out of the limelight to work on yourself and quote and unquote disappear for a particular period of time. So that with a laser-like focus, you're able to build and develop the skills that will make you great in what it is you want to do. In a sense, we're not created out in the world as much as we're created by what we do behind the scenes and the thousands of hours spent dedicating ourselves to a craft. We enhance our value and capability in doing the often monotonous and glamorous things day in and day out. And those results out in the world are merely a reflection of that work. And that's what makes excelling in any given area so challenging. There's something counterintuitive about performing to an audience of one, dancing fellow applause, exhausting time and energy and resources so that you can cling on to a promise. But that's also why excellence will always be reserved for a few and open to everyone. But ultimately, the few end up there, right? The same way a finish line is open to everyone, but ultimately reserved for only those willing to put in the hundreds if not thousands of practice miles to start the race, run the race, and complete it. You've got to sort through a lot of information and boil it down to the things that really matter to you and utilize that as the most important pieces, deciding what's value. So first of all, we got to gather knowledge. When I have a chance to talk to my high school friends, first thing I tell them is, you gotta have the information. Get it while you're here. Don't leave school without it. One of my little phrases for my high school friend. What they teach here, what you think of it, that's up to you. What you're gonna do with it, that'll soon be up to you. But right now, this is the important thing, is to get it. You can sort through it. You can cast aside whatever's not gonna work for you in the future. But the important thing is to be serious enough to get it. Okay? I teach them there's nothing worse than being stupid. Right? Being broke is bad, but being stupid's what's bad. And what's really bad is being broke and stupid. <laughs> nothing much worse than that unless you're sick. Right? Sick, broke, and stupid. <laughs> That's about it. So number one, you've got to know. You've got to have the information. Now, where do we get ideas and information? We've got this marvelous ability here like no other life form on earth has to alter the course of our life. You don't have to keep flying south. If south is not getting you the money and the joy and the pleasure, I'm telling you, you can alter the course. You're not like just a blind animal that has to be driven by instinct in the genetic code. Because people see the outer display of your gift, but they do not see the inner pains that go along with being who you are. And if you don't manifest what you are carrying, the world will ignore you. Because you exist doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Because you are on the planet doesn't mean that people are going to notice you. You can live an entire life and not be noticed by humanity. We can bury you in a cemetery and we would never know you were here except for that tombstone. And the reason is because most of the humans on earth live on earth but never manifest themselves. And so the most important goal in your life should be self-manifestation. What are you going to do now, Les? But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will. 
So as you're in the process of reinventing your life, write a description of the kind of person that you want to be. What are the things that you must overcome? What qualities about your personality you know that you're going to have to change because those particular characteristics are liabilities to you? What are your assets? What are your strong points? Look at and evaluating yourself to make that determination. Other thing is that in order to get out of a rut, we need some coaching. Find some trusted critics. People that you know care about you and love you. So there's some things that keeps us from growing and getting out of ruts. Number one, we identify with feedback. We take it personal when someone wants to give us some feedback on where we are falling short and tell us about our blind spots. We want to have everything being positive about us. We're not perfect. The development of all of our potential and the wise use of all our resources. One of our resources is time and we talked about that. What I could control was my work ethic. You've heard me speak many times about outworking everybody, but I think that just feels good when we hear it, but most people don't take it seriously. If you think that I have a little bit of success in my life, I can tell you what I attribute it to. Yes, self-confidence, yes, mindset, visualization, goals, all the things I talk about all the time, listening skills, influence, energy transfer, how to be happier, all of that stuff applies. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. So when you're done, whatever you're doing, whether it's at the gym or phone calls or meetings or in sports, one more shot, one more throw, one more swing of the golf club or the baseball bat, the separator is for the winners, they do one more. I'm addicted to one more. And so I want your mantra going forward to be one more. I believed everything my mama told me, but this one time I said, mama, I got to go and try this. I said, this is it for me. I said, if I don't do this, what I'm going to do? She said, you're going to work like your daddy did. Your daddy work hard. I said, okay, well, I just work hard. But I'm going to go be something. The only person in my family that believed in me was my father. He said, boy, if you think you can make it, go ahead. Now, if you need some help, I'll give you a hundred there now and then. And I've done nothing since that day except tell jokes. Now, I got in a lot of trouble. By the time I was 30, I was homeless. Because the first year in comedy, I only made $3,500. The next year, I made $5,000. The third year in comedy, I made $6,800. You get homeless real fast. So many people give up and quit because they have a dream planted by God in their heart. But then comes the nightmare. And unless you can endure... And unless you can endure hell's nightmare, you'll never experience heaven's dream for your life. Don't wait for things to deteriorate so drastically that someone else must impose discipline into your life. How could you possibly explain the fact that someone else thought more of you than you thought of yourself, when you would have been content to let success go to someone else who cared more about themselves? Your life, my life, the life of each one of us is going to serve as either a warning or an example. But the problem today is too many people are not willing to pay the price to walk in victory. They don't want to suffer. They just want to take the easy way out. The easiest thing to do is to just let our flesh have its way. But friends, there is no such thing as fast food maturity. If you want to grow up, it's going to take some hard work. It's hard to love people when they're not being nice to us. It's hard to keep a good attitude and be patient when nothing's going your way. And because your doing doesn't come from the deeper place of being, it hasn't worked for you. If you're trying to find out who you are by doing things, you will never find out who you are by doing. You have to start with being because the difference between the two determines the direction of your destiny. See, God promised to get you there. But he didn't say how. And if you're not careful, you will put all your energy and you'll put all of your work into preserving something that God only gave you for a season. God brings some people in your life to get you from point A to point B. The thing you was counting on to get you to the other side the job you thought you'd retire with, 
the house you thought you'd have the rest of your life and the storm got it. How many of you lost some stuff in the storm? Lost some people in the storm and it made you feel like a failure. It was a temporary blessing. Khi say anh thường hãy nhận về em mong khỏa lấp những ưu tối khoảnh khắc về đêm nghe lại bài ca ngày xưa cũ ta hát về nhau nhớ những giấc mơ ta từng ước tao tát về sau và đó là khi mà anh giản dị là không làm chủ chính mình thấy không gian trở nên tồi tệ mọi thứ bao phủ chính mình em đâu còn như điều anh mơ anh cũng tự nhủ chính mình nhưng mà thôi em nào ai giỏi mà đủ tính tình chẳng thể vươn tới được cảnh cao dù anh có nhã ý trèo trong cơn say mọi thứ cuồng quay anh trở thành gã trí phèo yêu chân thành là không thay lòng dù em có như thị nở ý anh là em như cô tấm nhìn em như thị nở đêm vàng nàng ngón tay sám vàng vì đốt cả bao thuốc lá căn phòng chung khi xưa nồng ấm bây giờ sao bút giá một thói xấu mà anh đã quen khi em không ở bên lâu anh thường ngồi trong một góc tối nhậu suốt cả đêm thâu em mang con tim anh đi đâu khiến anh mù quáng vẫn cô sáng mỗi khi đâu em mang con tim anh đi đâu điều gì trong vắng để xứng đáng ước mi nhau em mang con tim anh đi đâu khiến anh mù I'm quite, are we there yet? I don't know whether we're there yet. I don't know whether we're at the end of suffering. I don't know whether we're at the end of sacrifice. I don't know whether we're coming to harvest or not. Are we there yet? But I do know who holds the wheel. And as long as I know who holds the wheel, I'm not worried about where I am in the journey because I know before we got in the car, you had a plan, you had a map. Tell the frustration, tell the past, tell the disappointment, sleep. Cả buồn mà cất lời không lên Người đi mất mà nhất thời không quên Lòng u tối dù đất trời không đêm Kể từ khi sống lấy lất trời không em Đầu quay cuồng trong hơi men Đôi chân về nơi quen Dấu vết chẳng hề phai Và rồi trượt tên ca Và vô tình khơi thêm Ký ức bung lơi em Mà đã từng kể vai Và ngồi chẳng cần thiết Phải viết nên sử sách Mà lại phải nếm trả trên não này Chẳng thể biết thời tiết đẹp như trong Thực ra là đằng xa có một cơn bão rồi Chẳng cần mơ hay chờ đến vạn kiếp Để ta được cạn tiếp cho hết tiền giao bôi rồi Chẳng thể mỡ để vỡ một nhân duyên Nên ta chỉ khấn nguyện chọn đời này chung lối thôi Những kẻ suy mê từ điên thiền Nếu tưởng về thiên đường yên ương được tô điểm Nhưng hận tạo hóa tuyệt nhiên có ai đành Bên em thành anh đài tình ta như hồ điệp vẫn Mãi giữ riêng đây về giây phút khắc sâu Chẳng yêu em mà thằng chít mắt câu Sở hút hút khuất sau và nét bút chắc đau Hạnh phúc đâu cần cho chọc hút bắt đâu Nhớ đến cái lúc còn gió phương vơi đầy Nhớ hình bóng người nào đó vương nơi này trong vạch hình khắc mong có được đôi tay ở cửa lau đi bờ mi khi nào thường hơi cay xa một người và vượt qua cuộc đời không thể xa đi vĩnh viễn mà chúng ta chỉ tạm chỉ lấy turn the frustration into favor you're going to rise higher accomplish dreams and become everything he's created you to be and if you receive it can you say amen today I'd like to give you an opportunity Em đi qua cái khảng lãng mạn như thi ca Khiến anh chẳng nhớ được gì cả Chỉ chút vừa vã anh ghi và em Anh không biết được là đôi mình còn gần bên nhau bao lâu nữa Nhiều lúc anh nghĩ hay thôi mình Có lẽ là đừng yêu nhau nữa Vì cải vã nhiều quá anh mệt lắm Chia tay nhiều quá anh mệt lắm Tất cả ở em đều mệt lắm Nhưng rồi thời gian cũng hết năm Em thì vẫn ở đó vẫn nắm chặt tay Vẫn kể mới sát môi Anh thì vẫn như vậy Vẫn nghệ sĩ nghèo chỉ có lời hát thôi Em à, người ta mất nhau trong hai tuần Và ta xa nhau cũng hai lần Anh không có phải thằng cờ Cũng biết trái tim đâu đó đã phai dần phải cần một sự liều lĩnh để thế mình còn luyến thương nữa không mình sống với nhau như vợ chồng những tình thế này thì chưa giống bài nhạc anh viết vẫn chưa xong liệu rằng ngày đó có